<laughs> My name is Jennifer Ellery, going to the right side. I've been attending Cornerstone Baptist Church for the past two years, and I'm going to share my testimony with you today that God might be glorified and I can say thank you for his amazing grace Amen. to me. Amen. My church history includes 30 years of Catholicism, 12 years in the way ministry, which was a charismatic fellowship, 10 years of non-denominational megachurches, and the past five, almost six years has been with biblical reformed churches and ministries. I was raised in a close, loving family with hard-working parents who sacrificed much to provide for us and to bless us. And I left this home of great blessing and went to college. Though it was only two hours from home, it was the far country of Luke 15, the story of the carnival son. It was there, uh, loose and riotous living with what characterized my life. After graduating from college, I moved to the more distant country of Southern California, where the same lifestyle continued. I was exceedingly selfish and self-serving. I hurt and I abandoned those that I should have loved, those that I should have nurtured, and those that I should have sacrificed for. Because when I left Kentucky, I left my three-year-old daughter in the care of her paternal grandmother. I destroyed many relationships. I justified my sin. I blamed others for everything. I only cared about myself. I obsessed about how I looked because it gained me what I thought was acceptance, approval, and significance. I was deep into the Southern California lifestyle. I spent hours in the gym every day, and I gloried in my worldly success. But God, I thank God for all the but gods in my life. Amen. Amen. But God had graciously knit my heart to his word. Even as a child in the Roman Catholic Church, I always was attentive and enjoyed the scripture readings. As an adult, I was about 29 years old, when I was drawn to the way ministry, this was in San Diego, and it was because of the scripture focus. After years in the way ministry, I began noticing discrepancies between what was taught and what was in the Word of God that I was reading. I asked questions but got insufficient answers. It was at that time that I prayed and I asked that God would show me what was true. Amen. As God began showing me truth, the Word convicted me of my sin and I could no longer sin with ease. On a drive from Phoenix to San Diego, I was praying and I wanted to tell God that I loved Him. But I only got to the L of love. And I couldn't finish. When a flood of tears followed, because I knew I loved my sin and not God. I continued in the Word and the conviction grew. Sin consequences and damaged relationships compounded that, convi that conviction. And I walked away from a sinful relationship. My desire for God's truth and knowledge of Him grew, and then everything went sideways. Extreme stress in my job, my health was impacted, and I no longer wanted those things that I had embraced. But God. But God used those circumstances to get me out of Southern California, out of the job, and out of the far country. I had not planned to move back to Kentucky, but God directed my steps. I'm thankful that he did. He actually kept me there in some pretty amazing ways if you don't have that kind of time. But in staying in Kentucky, he restored the relationship with my daughter, and he restored the relationship with my mom. And God did that. Mm -hmm. But God, but God was pursuing me, and I thank him. I'm sorry. Sorry. But Jen, younger brother Jen did not come to her senses. She did not go to the forgiving, compassionate father. 
She ran past him to the other side and became the older brother. I became exceedingly self-righteous. Knowledge puffed me up, and how I looked morally became everything to me. I was the whitewashed Pharisee, feeding again on being approved of and accepted by others. I listened to every radio ministry. I read all kinds of quote-unquote Christian books. I was the simple one, the open door of Proverbs 1-4, allowing everything into my mind. I was the gullible, weak-willed woman of 2 Timothy 3, who had no discernment. I was always learning but never coming to a knowledge of the truth. Then I began attending the mega churches and a thick layer of emotional hype and experience was laid onto a mountain of works righteousness, charismatic chaos, and idolatry. It was on this that I added a full measure of pride and arrogance, and you have the perfect storm. Proverbs 16, 18 says that with pride and a haughty spirit comes destruction and a great fall. And the fall was extremely humiliating and it was very public. And the whitewash that was stripped away from the younger brother was stripped away, and the younger brother's sowings and reapings were exposed for all to see. It was exposed to for me to begin seeing my sin as it was in truth, wicked rebellion against the holy God. Opposition from that fall continued for years. But God, but God was graciously pursuing him, me. I thank him. For, I thank him for these years because during these years it was God who illuminated the scriptures, growing me in my knowledge of Him and His Son. It was God who brought me biblical ministries, churches, and faithful shepherds who preached the whole counsel of God's word and the person and work of Jesus Christ. It was God who opened my eyes and gave me a heart of flesh. God taught me how to blush and to grieve over my sin. He taught me that I, to understand that all I deserved was an eternity in hell and that I could not save myself. It was God who gifted me with the faith to repent and believe the gospel. It was God, and by His grace, He granted the faith for me to trust in Jesus Christ and have alone for my salvation. I thank God, my Father, for His amazing grace, for His rich mercy and great love to me. I thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for fulfilling all righteousness, for bearing my awful, awful load. I thank Him for paying the debt to do my sin. I thank the Holy Spirit, my God, for guiding me into all truth, for applying Christ's redemptive work and making me alive in Christ Jesus. I thank Him for clothing me in Christ's righteousness. As a new creation in Christ Jesus, ceasing from sin and self, I now desire that God be glorified. I want to live for Him, serve His people, exalt the name of Christ, share the gospel of His grace, and worship Him forever. I thank God for leading me to Cornerstone Baptist Church, and this day I praise Him and I thank Him for saving a wretch like me. I don't make a formal request to covenant with this church as a member and a fellow worker for his kingdom. Yeah, yeah, the microphone's right. It's uh, a joy to have Jennifer with us. And uh, I know many of you have been uh, blessed to see Jennifer grow in the time that she's been here. Amen. Her testimony today is a great encouragement. It uh, should be a blessing to all of us and uh, just magnifies Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Grateful that Jennifer's here. It's a joy to baptize her uh, based upon her faith in Jesus Christ, turning from sin and trust Him alone. And it's based on Jennifer's commitment to serve Christ as a member of our church. We baptize Jennifer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the name of the Lord.